Suppose a lake began with a thousand fish and ten percent of them have surviving offspring each year and we want to talk about how this population of fish is growing. Now this is a different type of model than we've looked at before because the growth is not by a constant number of fish each year but instead by a percentage of fish. Now let's see why that makes a difference. So we know that my initial amount of fish, in other words my population at time zero, is a thousand. How many fish do I have after one year? So I'm going to have my original a thousand fish plus ten percent of that thousand, right? Because my population is going to increase by ten percent of however many fish I had. Uh, I could also write this as p0 plus 0 0.1 times p0. Uh, right, noticing that this is 10% of the previous population. And I could even pull, do, pull out a little bit of algebra here and factor out that p0, which would leave me with 1 plus 0 0.10. Right, notice this is 1 times p0. So if I factor out a p0, I get 1 plus uh, 0 0.01 uh, times p0. Or I could just call this 1.10 times p0. And that's going to be my population after one year, which uh, you might notice is, uh, let's see here, what is that? 10% of a thousand is a hundred, add that on, would be 1,100. Now after two years, then I'm going to get my previous population of 1,100 plus 10% of not 10% of a thousand, but now 10% of that 1100. Or in other words, this is p1 plus 0 0.10 times p1. And by extending the same logic we had here, that would be 1.10 times p1. Uh, if I calculate that out, 10% of 1100 is 110. Add that on, my population is now 12. 10. Now notice in this year, I, my, the fish population increased by 100. In the next year, it increased by 110, by more than it did the year before. So this is not linear growth. If I continue this trend, the next year would be 1210 plus 10% 10 of 1210, which is p2 plus 0.10 p2, which again I could factor out and get 1.10 times p2. And you're probably noticing the trend here, right? And if, in case you're curious, if we calculated it out, that'd be 1331, which is again more of an increase than the year before. If I generalize this, I can say that pn in any year the population is going to be in this particular case, 1.10 times the previous year's population. And this is going to define my logist, uh, sorry, ex uh, exponential type of growth, partic uh, in particularly the recursive model for my exponential, what we, what's called exponential growth. We'll see why it's called exponential growth in a second. Uh, and so this becomes my recursive, recursive, model. Uh, and so again, we have an initial population. We always have to have p0, pn equals. And now let's think about where this came from. So the 1 represented the previous population, right? Because remember we had p, uh, for example, p1 plus 0 0.10 times p1. We factored out the the p1. And so this 1 represented the original previous population, so that's 1 is the original. And then this 10% here is our r. Our r is our what's called growth rate. And again, this is a percentage rate times pn minus 1. And so this becomes our general recursive equation for what's called, again, exponential growth and we'll see why it's called exponential growth in the second part.